Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and uh, I'm just going to uh, do a very quick talk about my lemon plant today. I um, think this is probably a Four Seasons, don't know for sure, it's not a Myers lemon, it's not a Eureka lemon. And uh, I think the, the point I was going to make actually is, if you are not already growing, uh, any citrus or subtropicals or tropicals and you were thinking of considering trying um, a subtropical then you might really I, I can't do more than or can't more highly recommend trying a lemon uh, now the reason for suggesting that is they are one of the easier citrus fruits to get in the UK but more importantly one of the easier ones to fruit and keep alive um, producing obviously very useful fruit um, but th there's a lot of practicality to them um, a lot of the cit other citrus are very seasonal in terms of flowering once a year and then waiting all year for, uh, for the fruit to develop and I've had a lot of trouble getting I can't seem to get any oranges or tangerines or mandarins to stay holding on the plant and get to an edible size. But I have, however, managed to keep my lemon plant going for a couple of years and it does slowly. And I will admit that because, you know, these fruits can take sort of 10 to 12 months to develop from flower to fruit. But what I'm in liking about lemons, uh, especially this variety, is they do tend to flower and fruit sporadically all year round. So you can see when you look at this now, I've got a fully mature lemon on there. It hasn't changed colour yet, but it's mature. Um, I've got embryo lemons there. I've got larger embryo lemons here, here. There's another lemon there which is getting close to full size, another embryo lemon on the back. And, and now we've got a load more flower buds coming out on the plant as well. So we're gonna have another flower display and all being well, more lemons setting. Uh, there's new growth coming there. So it's a little bit out of focus tonight. New growth coming there, new flower buds coming. There's more new growth at the top and they've got this lovely dark red colour to the leaves. There are more flower buds here, more embryo lemon setting, more new growth coming. Um, really this, given the right growing conditions, probably if you had a conservatory, a little bit different for me because I haven't got anywhere to put them in winter. I just put them in an un unheated summer house, which is like a just a garden shed with more uh, with more glass in it than a standard shed. But really, this plant is virtually flowering and fruiting all year round. And I think with a conservatory and a larger plant, you could probably get a useful amount of lemons all year round. Obviously, this one is still um, not at the size where where it's cropping substantially. I'm only getting the odd lemon here and there, but to see all the different sizes of fruits and maturity on the plant and, um, and flowers and uh, a virtually fully mature fruit, I think is fantastic. I mean, whereas my other citrus do flower at various times, I haven't yet been successful at getting other fruit. So uh, I just think that if you're going to grow any subtropical or citrus plants at all, it's worth starting off with a lemon and seeing how you get on with them. Because <clears throat> I, I don't think you'd be disappointed. And there's always an opportunity to use a lemon in cooking or whatever else. And it's not, as you can see from the stem, it's not a particularly large plant. I haven't got it in particularly large pots. If anything, the pot's a bit too big. The only thing I've got to watch is while it's outside, if we get a lot of rain, there is a risk of any with any citrus of waterlogging, but they don't seem to suffer too badly from it in uh, summer. You'll always get the odd fruit like this one that doesn't make it, that's dried out. There's a couple down here that have um, dried out and haven't set. 
you're going to get that. But there's a fair number on here that look as if they're set. So um, definitely, definitely recommend getting a lemon if you're thinking of starting off on your citrus and subtropical journey. And they're, they're pretty hardy, really. You can keep them ideally just above freezing in winter and they should hold fruits in the winter months. Anyway, thanks for watching my citrus video promoting lemons hopefully it'll encourage you to have a go just remember not to over water it that's the key thing with these and don't over pot them as well i don't like particularly large pots because they're more prone to uh, root rot so that's my lemon plant probably four seasons but i'm not 100 percent sure thanks for watching the video welcome to share it please give me a thumbs up um, obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and uh, remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out thanks very much I'll see you on the next video Brett out for now